All right, I'm going to do a short video here on how to upgrade a protein skimmer to, um, in particular here, an EPSP5 protein skimmer pump. Uh, normally, if someone had an old, say, Eureef uh, CS8-3 that was 8 inches in diameter and 30 inches tall, and they were running, uh, say, a KSP5000 pump or a KSP9000 pump, um, they would want to make this upgrade because it's, it's a dramatic improvement in performance. So um, what I'm using for this application um, instruction is uh, just a, a piece of acrylic tubing. It's a broken piece that we got at Broken Shipment. Um, but it will illustrate how to make the, uh, they'll drill the hole and make the measurements and such. So the first thing you'll do is, um, this is the pump. You take your elbow and you put it on top. Push it down as far as it'll go. And then what you're going to want to do here is make a measurement to the center of the elbow. And luckily these elbows, in the mold injection process, is a little divot right here, actually a little, like a little raised part. So you're going to measure that and um, make sure you measure from the flat of your surface. So we're using this blue material here as a non-skid surface so the tube doesn't move when I drill. So put your ruler on top of that surface and then make a measurement. And it shows here that it's about eight and an eighth inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the protein skimmer. I'm going to put the ruler up next to it. I'm going to make a mark at 8 and 1 8 inches right there. So that's the center of the hole. That's where I want to drill the hole to put the uniseal and the pump fitting. So I'm going to put the pump over to the side. We'll reposition the tube a little bit. So you want to use your drill. These are important tools. This is called an arbor. This, this assembly here, this piece right here is called an arbor. And this particular pilot bit we use is a diamond dust coated bit. And this ensures that you get a smooth cut through the acrylic to guide the drill bit, the hole saw, which is this piece here, and that it won't pull. So um, what we do is we, we assemble the hole saw. So you take the hole saw assembly, put it on the thread there, screw it on. And then on the inside, if you can see that, there's little holes in there, that little, these little tabs right here, I push them up. These tabs here push up and lock. So basically you line, you put the hole saw on and you line it up on the inside to where those holes, those tabs are and then you push them through and that locks it in place so that it won't pop off when you're drilling. So then you take that, this has a quarter inch truck, or actually a three eighths inch truck, yeah. Put on the drill, get the bill, get a bit of, attached, make sure it's t nice and tight. Oops. There we go. Nice and tight. And then you find your point, you take your, the tip of your drill bit and stick it right on that point. And this is what's important. Hold it from the top so you stabilize the acrylic or the protein skimmer in this case. And then start drilling slowly. So what we're starting here, you can see that little divot. It's just a little teeny hole that's going to guide this bit right through. So we'll put this bit in there and we'll speed it up a little bit. And see, it goes through really nice and smooth. So now that we have our pilot hole drilled, we'll put our bit in there. And we start slowly and then speed up. It'll get a little noisy here. So you can see we're starting with our hole. One thing that's really cool on this particular drill is it has a level built in. So you can see when you're doing it whether or not you're level. And that makes sure that your hole is centered. So you can look at it from the top. Speed up slowly. Pull, pull the bit out a little bit to get the uh, acrylic that's inside that, the, uh, the cut section out. A little bit, pulse it in and out. And then, boom, your hole's done. So what I would do then is just uh, take a towel, wipe it off, get the inside out. You can take a little bit of sandpaper and just sand the inside of this here to so nice and smooth. Next step is you take your uniseal, pop it in the hole, nice and tight. And then you need a piece of pipe, which I don't have. Yes, I do. So you take a piece of pipe, one inch pipe, comes with the upgrade kit you buy, and you just put that through here and gently push it into the hole until it just barely protrudes through the other side. It takes a little bit of elbow grease here. So once that's in, you would slide your pump over, line your elbow to whatever position you want it to be in. This just slides on, like so, and basically you're done. You take your airline tube, attach it to your Venturi, 
and you can use the alternate valve if you want. It's an optional piece. Pop that on there, attach it to the side of the protein skimmer and plug it in. That's all there is to it. So if you have any other questions, I'd be happy to talk to you about it. I'm at uh, sales at reefdynamics.com or you can call me at 707-733-3411. This is Jeff Backrace signing out for Reef Dynamics.